Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi everyone, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley and what a change out there for this afternoon. Slightly elevated for those dew points on the mesonet now. Check it out, spring-like conditions, those dew points anywhere from the 50s to the lower 60s. Check out Porter now at 61 degrees for the dew point. 82 degrees for the ambient air temperature now at the Tulsa International Airport. We have the dew point at the airport on the tarmac at 57 degrees and calm winds. They did turn northerly for this afternoon as we talked about last night behind a very weak cold front. As you can see the cold front not doing much out there for this afternoon and early this evening. Temperatures now from the 70s to right around 80 degrees. We have Eufaula now at 74, 75 for our viewers in Tahlequah and up to the north around Veneta at 70 six degrees and this warmth is going to continue over the next couple of days all the way through Monday afternoon. Live now on Double Doppler 2 are watching for any showers to form or pop up along the cold front. Not seeing any returns right now on the radar scan and you can see those northerly winds especially up to the north there between about 5 and 10 but still in some portions of our viewing area especially to the south of Interstate 40 we have southerly winds in advance of that weak cold front. So here's the latest Twitter weather poll and it's on my handle page there at Brandon Woolley. Are you excited for spring to start up on Monday? That's the equinox coming up and we can see right there. Bring on spring. I wish we had winter here or go straight to summer and that's coming up in the next couple of months. You can see the latest allergy report for the Tulsa metro area high for trees, non-existent for grasses and weeds and low there for mold spores. The official daytime high today again fairly impressive for this time of year at 82 degrees. The average high temperature for this time of year comes in at 63. Overnight lows tonight dropping off behind that departing cold front down to the 40s. We go we have Bartlesville at 42 degrees. Skies partly cloudy to mostly clear. Northerly winds between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. The possibility of a few isolated showers over the next couple of hours, but that's about it along the cold front. 49 in Tahlequah, 52 in Chicota. Northeasterly winds between about 5 and 10 and a wind shift is anticipated overnight tonight to the south of Interstate 40 as that boundary continues to move to the south. So northerly winds overnight between about 5 and 10 and overnight lows a little bit warmer down to the south into the 50s, including Stigler at 55 and 56 in Holdenville. So here's your day planner for tomorrow on Saturday to kick off the weekend. We have a really good looking forecast, but it's going to be colder to start out there behind the cold front into the upper 40s, mostly sunny skies through the day and ending up into the 70s for tomorrow afternoon. Maybe just a few higher clouds, but that's about it. Lots of sunshine is expected for the weekend. Daytime highs to the north of T-Town into the 70s, including Bartlesville at 73 degrees. Easterly winds tomorrow between about 5 and 10. Easterlies there all less than about 10 miles per hour, but we are expecting breezy to windy conditions back in the forecast for Sunday and Monday. Check out the highs tomorrow afternoon. Wilberton at 77 and 1 degree warm warmer there in Poto coming in at 78, so almost 80 degrees out there. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast on Sunday. Breezes coming back southerlies between 15 and 25, partly cloudy skies and reaching 84. A couple of degrees warmer there in advance of our next cold front on Monday and Monday is the first day of spring. A very slight chance for rain showers out there as the week wears on for next week. A better chance, Brian, for showers and thunderstorms, especially by next Thursday and Friday and we're carefully watching next Thursday and Friday that system can bring some severe weather and so we could see that coming into green country again that's for Thursday and Friday we'll keep you posted. All right well good timing I guess as we get deeper into severe weather season and tornado season we are working to keep you safe so tomorrow Two Works for You will be out at Woodland Hills Mall for the first annual severe weather awareness expo. You can visit our Storm Shield weather team from noon to four. They'll help you and your family prepare for any life threatening situations. Brandon, Brett, and the rest of the team will be out there yeah. conducting experiments too. That's right. And Brett and I, later tonight, we're going to drive the storm truck into the mall and yeah. set it up for tomorrow. So imagine that driving the storm truck into an empty <laughs> mall tonight. Right. We'll definitely have to take some video and pictures. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brandon.